so if you are using a Microsoft service, uh, you are an Azure storage customer, wh whether you know it or not. Uh, so ev everything that's out there is built on storage in some way, shape or form. Um, that could be a workload, uh, you know, like Microsoft 365, right? Where you're uploading and mm -hmm. downloading documents from something like SharePoint online. Uh, that could be your exchange mailbox. Uh, it, it could be, uh, you, you know, you doing a, a, a Bing search. Maybe you're an Xbox, uh, player, you know, you know, you're out there doing your, your gamer stats and, and things like that, uh, in, in Xbox live. Like all of that stuff uh, just relies on on storage and and everything out there that we do. So I've got like my my NAS over in the corner and and I, I'm 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 running you know ten terabytes of like and I'm like oh yeah I got all this stuff here uh, and, and I step in and and you know day one five or six years ago was like hey um, go work with this customer with a nine petabyte data lake it's the smallest thing we can we have for you right now don't worry it's easy. Nine petabytes. What? What are, we, what are you talking about? Nine, nine, nine petabyte data lake. I, I, and then I look over at my little NAS in the corner and see it just frowning. Right? It's like I'll, I'll never be nine petabytes. Um, and and that was years ago. Uh, and today, you know, when I think about the customers that we work with and we enable, uh, you know, it's not single digit petabyte. It's not even double digit petabyte. It's triple digit. It, it's exabyte scale. And I imagine that number just keeps going, 